How's it going guys? I am Draconic. Welcome to my brand new full Let's Play. We are playing Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. This looks like a very fun game and I'm looking forward to playing it. There's two other reasons why I'm playing it. I've been watching the main show itself and I do enjoy watching it. It's definitely a very cool show that I'm watching. And yeah, I thought it'd be a very good idea to play this game. On top of that, I am working towards a video in December and I'm trying to get a bit more information um, just by playing this game and Sword Art Online is one of the other reasons why. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. Um, uh, go save one, I guess. So for those of you who are not familiar exactly with Sword Art Online, I guess I'm going to pick my character here. It's basically technology has advanced so far that gaming has gotten to the point where you can play games in a virtual world and the name Sword Art Online just so happens to be one of those games. In season one you had your main character beat the game and that was the end of it but the twist about Sword Art Online itself is that it was a death game. If you died in the game itself you died in real life. All of that, <laughs> it, it was definitely Definitely a, a, very, a lot of fun to watch and it's definitely a very good series. I would recommend checking it out. But anyway, you might get a bit more information of that as we play the game. And I've got a character to create by the looks of it, so let's, um, this might take a while. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to dive too much into this. Um, I think that's going to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with any of that either. Alright, hairstyle. Bloody hell! There's 61 hairstyles. Oh god, we're gonna be here. Well, I guess I guess half of them are probably for the, the female player. I'm gonna go with this for now. I may come back to it. Is there a, is there a beard anywhere? You know, because beards are awesome. <laughs> um, I'm not finding any there. But do I want to give myself a nice cool mark as well? I might do. Um, hang on, there was a dragon one. There was a dragon one, which was pretty good. I might... I don't think I like that. Dra I don't think I like a lot of face paint. But oh, wait, is there anything else? That's not terrifying at all. Alright, okay, hair colour. Oh, I can change it. Sweet. Alright, let's um let's go for some orange, I think. Um I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. What's the other options I've got? Highlights. Alright, okay. Um we might actually have something here. Let's try red. Nah. I don't think I like that either. Blue and white, get that Scotland theme going, I think, by the looks of it. Um, what well, if I swap it around? So white here, and then blue here. That looks doesn't look too bad. Black and blue looks pretty good, I will say. I'm almost tempted to just roll with that. Jesus, is this the whole game? Character customization? Makeup? What makeup? Nope. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. Alright, I think our character's done. Looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. Nice bit of blue, black and white. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's get the player name in there. Player name will be set to Draconic. Are you sure you want to proceed? Not really, but do I have a choice? <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, enough stalling. Let's dive in to... All right, enough stalling. Let's dive in to Sword Art Online. So as far as I'm aware, this game is set in one of those um, virtual worlds and the name of it is called Gun Gale Online where everything's just all about guns and just shooting. But anyway, here we are. These hands. <laughs> hey, there we are. Well, it's all right. I'm happy with that. Hey, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is Gungale Online. I don't know if the city itself has a name for it. I just refer it to Gungale Online. But damn, it looks really cool. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Look at me, I'm really, really happy. Yeah, it's... Um, Looks like I might be speaking quite a lot in this if all of the characters are just speaking Japanese. Alright, okay. So... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to talk a lot by the looks of it. <laughs> That's going to be annoying. All right, so who are you? You are Korea or Korea. Korea, I like that. <laughs> Good joke. Good pun. Anyway, let's get serious. Let's start playing the game. So, Korea, what you're saying? I see you managed to log in okay. Been waiting long? Well, I've got decision making, all right. Um, long time no see. I'm surprised you recognize me considering my avatar looks so different from how it does in real life. My name in here is Korea, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you, Korea. You look like a very cool person. Of course, I knew who you were right off the... Can I speed this up or anything? No, that's alright. That's good. You're still the exact same draconic I knew as a kid. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> how did I know it was you? Let's see. Well, you had that unique aura of both friendliness and unsociability about you. Sorry for calling you here so suddenly. I know this is your first virtual reality massive multiplayer online. That is what VR MMO stands for. Yeah, it is VR MMO. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Anyway, I really appreciate it. Now let's get going. The tournament's about to start. Wait, there's a tournament? Hell yeah, I'm, in, I'm on board for a tournament. Alright, so... GGO is Gun Gill Online. And VR MMO is, as I said, Virtual Reality, Massive Multiplayer Online. By the way... Gungill Online is your first virtual reality massive multiplayer online, right? Don't worry, I'll show you the ropes. Um, thanks, or it's okay I did my research. Thanks, I guess? So you know that completely immersive VR technology was made a reality just a few years ago. VR standing for virtual reality. A young genius named Akihiko Kayaba invented a revolutionary piece of VR game hardware called the Nerve Gear. And the Nerve Gear is what you use to log into these games. Akihibo Kayaba is mentioned there is... I don't know if he's a villain or not, I really just don't know. But he was the one that created all of this. And that's the castle from Sword Art Online itself. So. And along with it, the virtual reality massively multiplayer online game, a VR MMO known as Sword Art Online. Every gamer wanted to play Sword Art Online, well, almost every gamer. You never were interested in MMOR, Massive Multiplayer Online RPGs. There was a lot of abbreviations. <laughs> God damn it. Turns out that was a good thing, the day it went live. Aki Bokaibo tracked roughly 10,000 players inside the game. If a player's HP dropped all the way to zero, they'd die. Sword Art Online had to become a real death trap. Hell yeah, it did. The players had to work together to clear all 100 floors of Aincrad in order to return to reality, but I've heard that thousands of people still died. The impact of the Sword Art Online incident was huge. Despite that, virtual reality games are, are as popular as ever now. That's all thanks to the Nier Gear successor, the Amusphere, an updated version that guarantees 100% safety. So, long story short, Sword Art Online is a game, all of these players went into it and they were trapped into it and I think it was about two years they were trapped. Only a few thousands got out, out of the 10,000, which is not good. So when you died in the game, you lost your life. And that was the Nerve Gear that did that. Now they brought out this kind of new, um, new device. Yeah, I'll just let Korea here explain the rest of it, I guess. Um, anyway. There's Alfheim Online, or ALO, where players can fly through the skies as fairies. Yes. And there's a new game based off Sword Art Online's original server called Sword Art Origin, or SAO. Then someone distributed the VRMMO development package, The Seed, for free, and using that program, tons of VR games were created. So, Sword Art Online was pretty much the beginning of all of these other VR games. Gun Gale Online being one of them, which is the one I'm in just now. This place, Gun Gale Online, more commonly known as GGO, was one of them. To put it simply, it's a world of guns, just overflowing with super strong players. Yep. It has a game coin to real currency system, which means there are people making money here as professionals, so it's one of the more difficult VR MMOs out there. 
You mean like, can I just quit everything, just play Gun Girl Online and make real money? <laughs> if only that were possible. It's best not to think too hard about it. Everyone's really excited right now because there was a huge update in Gun Girl Online. And I wanted to bring you along for the special update tournament. I heard there's a super rare item hidden somewhere on the tournament battlefield. Hell yeah, I want that item. I've got more decision making. Um, don't win. Meaning we can get it even if we don't win. Right. I promise I'll make it up to you in a way that's completely priceless. And you might be a beginner here, but I know you're a skilled gamer. I trust your game sense. Hell yeah, I'm experienced. Been gaming for all my life. <laughs> You can do it. Get that treasure for me. I'm expecting a love. Wait, hang on. Where to get the treasure for um, Korea here? Hell no. I want the treasure for myself. When does the tournament start? I want in. <laughs> start quest. Gungil Online newbie. That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> I'm only joking. All right. Okay. So. All right. So what do we know so far? There's a tournament and there's a rare item. I want that rare item, so I guess I'm gonna try and win the tournament, whatever it is. So, off we go. Alright, what's this? Well, it's it's Suki. I'm guessing that's the guy in the white jacket there. Yeah, because he's completely surrounded. <laughs> I wonder if he's in the tournament too. Hey, what's with the puzzled look? He's that guy over there. Called it. Um. Cool, good looking, or he looks like a fashion model. Fashion model, go ahead. So that's what you've got your eye on. Well, sure, I guess he is kind of cool and he does have lots of fans. That's Itsuke, one of Gungil Online's top players. He's the leader of Alford, a squadron that's renowned for its strength. Okay. So is he like the main villain or enemy? I don't know. Possibly? All squadrons are kind of like guilds, by the way. Oh yeah, that's right, you can form squadrons in Gun Girl Online. Oh, hello. You guys entering the tournament too? Yeah, yes. You're Korea, right? I've heard about you. You have? You're always wandering between squadrons, right? You've got quite the reputation. I hear you're reliable and have got good battle analysis skills. Thank you very much. Right. And who's this? Looks like beginner's equipment. Let me guess, you're a newbie, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm a newbie. I've never played this before, so... Oh, this is my childhood friend and a real master when it comes to games. Although today's Draconic's first time in Gungan. Look, give me a day and I'll pick up this game, no problem, and I'll be a highest rank. I guarantee you guys. You must like a challenge if you're entering a tournament on your first day, to be honest. I like that. Nice to meet you. I'm Itsuke. Levels and skills aren't the only things that make you strong in a gun battle. I'm looking forward to an interesting fight. See you later. Yeah, when do we actually get to start shooting stuff? Because I'm s still talking here. <laughs> it's okay is amazing, but I'm almost good enough to make it into the top rankings. I won't lose that easily. You ready? Enter through that teleport if you are. It'll take you to the tournament dungeon. There's dungeons in Gun Gale Online? Well, I guess there is now. Had to make something for the game, I guess. Um, all right, that's good. So, so if he's in the tournament and yeah, if I, yeah, 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 it looks like we're playing the game now. Complete the combat tutorial, sweet stuff. What's Korea doing over on the left? She's like getting buffs for everything. Jesus. All right, you finished buffing up? Cool. All right, okay. All right, this looks pretty to cool already so let's just dive in let's briefly go over the basics how to fight let me guess right trigger to shoot nope guess it's not or maybe i just haven't got to that bit yet okay all right so that's a sprint button so push down a stick jump okay so i'm just needing to climb up here what we're doing backflips now <laughs> what the hell all right let's check me out so status Alright, that's pretty cool. So I can check my stance here. I don't know what half this stuff is just now. But hang on a second here. Strength, vi vit, I'm guessing that's vitality. Intelligence, agility, dexterity, and luck. Oh, is that, is that luck? I, 
L-U-C at the bottom? I think it might be. What about myself? Wow, base set one. <laughs> Alright, okay. Enough of that. Can I? Is that assist mode? Oh, that's right, because in Gungale Online you've got something called, um... You've got something called, um... It's like an aimbot, pretty much. It's meant to help you out in combat. Um, okay, so... Next to reload. You're dead. So it was RT issue, I just didn't unlock it yet. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go, you're dead. Okay. And can I kill this guy with, before I empty the... No, I need to reload. Oh well. There we go. Replenishing bullets. Bullet boxes are boxes. <laughs> Alright, I love that. Alright, so is this it? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, um, is that everything from this room? I guess because it's the tutorial they might not be stuck hidden a bit. It doesn't look like there's treasure or anything like that. Bullet line. Oh yeah, that's right. So, yeah, they have something called a bullet line. Um, Okay, see, this is just... Alright, okay. There we go, he's dead. Alright, that was easy. I didn't see the bullet line at all, so... But basically, it's like, you can see where the enemies are firing. And a bullet line comes up and it just gives you an idea of how to dodge it, I guess. Alright. Whoa! Jesus! Alright. Hang on, are these real players? Yeah, they're real players. Well, he's dead now. Don't worry, it's not Sword Art Online, the game itself. So, when he dies, he'll actually pop back up in the real world or something. I don't know. No, he, he would go back to the spawn room, I guess, or something like that. Um, What's that black? Hex... I don't know what it was, but it looks like experience. Chest! Pick up. Hell yeah. Acquired SPB Night Sky. What's that? Um, equipment. Okay. Oh yeah, I did get something new this time. Um, SPB Night Sky. I can't even equip it. What? Why can I not equip it? Ah, I see. I see. So there's certain weapons you cannot build into. If you look at the top right, you see Dexterity. I, I'm assuming that's what it is. Or DEX. That's at 3. So I need to raise my dexterity level higher. But mine is only set as once all the way out. So I've got the weapon. I just can't use it. That's interesting. Traps and contraptions. Dungeons have switches that open doors and warp gates that transport you. There are also traps that damage you or move you to another area. So proceed with caution. Interesting. Okay. Why don't you open it up and see what's inside? Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, this is absolutely a trap, right? Um, so I need to activate it. Is there anything else in here but just before I leave? Whoa! Alright! Diving in there. Oh no, hang on! Alright, so where are you at just now? You understand the basics of Gungi Online's battle system, right? Now you just need to find a fighting style that's right for you. Alright, let's search high low and get that rare item. Hell yeah! Let's find out where it's... Oh, hello. It's this Itsuke guy. Oh, it's you too. Draconic, as soon as you see an opportunity, run for it. If that guy's with Itsuke, then he's gotta be pretty skilled too. We're seriously outclassed here. Yet they haven't killed us yet. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hmm. You're planning on running for it. I gotta admit that's the right choice here. But you do realise we'll attack as soon as your backs are turned, right? That's not nice. <laughs> I don't know about Korea, but I'm sure you'll die in one hit, newbie. Um. So. Alright. Um. So fighting's our only chance. Do shoot us even if we don't run. Sounds about right. I'd like to say you're right, but this won't be much of a fight. You guys just weren't paying attention. You could have at least laid a trap for us. 
This is going to be so dull. I'd rather not waste the bullets. Are you saying you're gonna let us go? Of course not. This is Gun Gale Online and we're in the middle of a battle. I don't see guns fly um, bullets flying, so... So much of a battle there. Let's see. Which would you prefer? Being killed by me or by one of the enemies? Truth be told, there's a rather troublesome enemy deeper in this dungeon. They probably laid a trap. We can't move until that thing's gone. Do you mind going ahead and checking it out? Of course, I'll let you go if you can defeat it. What do you think? It's frustrating, but you, we can't be it's okay like this. Um, Let's do it. Better chance of survival. Good. A reasonable decision. Alright, fine. We'll go fight that enemy for you. And after we've beaten it... Yeah, I know. I might lie, but I never break a promise. I won't point my gun at either of you. I'll only observe. Alright, I guess thank you for not killing us? Yeah? <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, hello. We're not going this way. No, that's the way we came. So, this way. Don't worry, I promise I won't shoot you in the back or anything. Why, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to enjoy watching you all fight, right? You may not realise this yet, but you have really good luck. Itsuki saved your hide on basically nothing more than a win. So his name's... what was his name? Taipan? Alright. I'm gonna find some place to watch you two go at it. And they're gone. Okay, can can I just point something out? Where, 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 where would they go? Because I've not seen any other doors here, unless they went through this one. And that's the boss, right? That is... Just YOLO it. <laughs> okay, and... Oh no! How do you dodge again? Alright, okay, it's B. That was easy! Thanks, Korea. Alright. And... Is that it? Hang on. Dash attack and tactical roll. If I hold... I was, th I was thinking I would be able to reload, so... Dash attack, how do I do... Alright, that's pretty cool. And what's this? Tactical roll. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I was just checking those abilities that highlighted up the left when I thought I pressed the reload button, but I didn't. Um, anyway. We won, somehow. So we're squared away now, right? Yep, I did make a promise after all. The road splits in two ahead. You guys can go first. We'll take whichever road you don't choose. Alright, okay. Well, you see, the truth is, I have pretty much the worst luck. The last few times the rare items were all taken by the Uncrowned Queen. Uncrowned Queen? That sounds like a... I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know if that's a good person or a bad person. It sounds like a bad person. Um, anyway. So you two better pick a road first. Don't worry, I'm not going to attack you from behind. Okay, then... Pick a road, Draconic. Alright, okay, just leave it to me. I'll I'll decide the road then, that's fine. So this guy must not be a complete bad person if he's not shooting us in the back and letting us go. And to be honest, I'm a bit surprised that he let us fight that easy boss. Then again, it was only the tutorial. I'm sure the tougher fights will come up later on. But anyway, do I want to go left or do I go right? There's one thing I've learned is that you always have to go the right way. So we're gonna go right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And there is nothing in that room. All right, what have we got? Hey, total bounty, a thousand seven hundred and fifty. I don't know what that is. is. That money? That's money, then. That's good. Level two. Hell yeah. Alright, so what's this? I'm glad that went well. Oh, are we in full cutscenes now? Jesus, alright. It's a good spot player, but you're still a gun gale online player. Not everyone's as nice as him, so be careful. I like you're worried about what's gonna happen. Our goal is that rare and we should avoid fighting anyone strong for now. Okay. Hey, look. Hey, what is... Okay. 
Is that another teleport by the looks of it? We should be able to find a way forward if we fiddle with this device. Oh, I know what's going to happen. You're going to press a button. I'm standing in the middle of the... Yep. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> Keep calm. It's a warp gate. I'll be in right after you, so don't move. It's a trap! God damn it. Alright. What's happened? Where are we going? <laughs> 